so while we're so while we're so while we're waiting on that wall <laughs> take two Welcome back to my channel. It's just Janine. How are y'all doing? I apologize before I start this video. I am a little on the sickly side, so I'm getting I have a cold or whatever it is, but I have a lot of sinus head pressure and drainage, and I'm just completely stopped up. So please forgive me. But for those that are tuning in for the very first time, welcome and please don't forget to subscribe if you are newly tuning into my channel. And for those that have been with been with me since day one, welcome back. So in today's video, I am actually going to do something uh, again in keeping with theme with natural hair since I'm on this whole natural hair process. So I'm going to actually make my own hair gel. I have been seeing this on the internet and YouTube for so long, this flaxseed gel, making your own flaxseed gel, and I've bought many a gels over the years. I've tested and tried so many, and I noticed that the one thing here recently that I am seeing, seeing in a lot of um, hair gel products is flaxseed, and that seems to be like a staple ingredient that's in a lot of hair products, um, mainly because it promotes hair growth. So I've been watching and watching. So I say, you know what? I'm going to go buy me some flaxseed. I'm going to try this and see if I can make my own. And here I have my whole um, flaxseed that I got from Publix. And I thought this stuff was going to be really expensive, but it was like a dollar and something. I think it was. Yeah, it's like a dollar and something. So I'm going to attempt for the second time this uh, hair gel and I did it last night because I want to test it out before I got on camera today and made a fool out of myself so <laughs> so bear with me as I'm going to attempt to try to do it for the second time but I do want to just let you know of some benefits as to the reason why I'm uh, doing this particular hair gel and why the flaxseed hair gel is important to me so I, I could have memorized all this stuff and just rattled it off but I don't feel good. I don't feel like memorizing everything that I saw online. So I'm just going to tell you what it says online and you can look it up yourself. I'll also leave the link in the description below. So I had to sit down for a second because I'm tired and I don't feel good. So <laughs> I'm just going to read y'all just very quickly the um, benefits of flaxseed uh, hair gel. So it says that it leaves the hair soft, shiny, and moisturized. It promotes hair growth. You can reuse the flax seeds. They are, it is cost effective. You definitely get a lot for your money, that's for sure. Nourishing for the hair and it's rich in omega-3. It gives great curl definition. It gives hold with no crunch, non-flaking, not drying to the hair. And it does not cause breakage or shedding, which is good because my hair has been shedding like crazy lately. It dries fast. Um, it's great for washing goes and those sleek looks. Um, it's good for twist outs and setting a twist uh, once they're dry for a lovely twist out. It mixes well with oils, conditioners, and many products, in particular castor oil, which is one of my favorites. <coughs> Excuse me. More importantly, it's all natural and it's organic. The last thing it says is that they compare, um, a lot of people compare it to the Kinky's, Kinky Curly's Not Today, um, but they say that the flaxseed gel is actually better, and it's also really great for all hair types, is what it says. So, all hair types. So, if you are four, three, two, one, whatever your hair type may be, it is good and healthy and beneficial for all hair types. Now there are two types of flax seeds. Now the dark brown flax seeds, now that is actually slightly higher in omega-3 fatty acids compared to the golden um, or yellow flax seeds that I purchased. So had I known that, I would have gotten the brown flax seeds. The main thing for me is cost effective, nourishing, hair growth, moisture, prevents breakage, 
yeah <laughs> that's all i can think of those things right there and curl defining yes and curl defining my curls but more simple but most importantly if i cannot if i'm broke and i'm out of jail if i'm out of some type of um um curl define cream or curl define whatever it may be now i know i can make my own we have our pot it is empty and i am going to now and forever use this pot for flaxseed oils um flaxseed oil flaxseed gel and making anything with hair products because i scorched this thing and it's just been done ever since so what we're going to do is we're going to put two cups of water in the pot and we'll slowly walk into the sink, uh, to the stove. I <laughs> said to the sink. And we're slowly walking. Na, 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 na. And we're going to turn the wrong eye on and burn my house down. We're going to bring this to a bowl. So while we're waiting on the water to boil, I want to show you what I made last night. Like I said, I did make a little batch last night just to test it out. So look at that moisture, y'all. Who wouldn't want this in their hair? Like, come on. Y'all know what it's like for us kinky curly girls to try to find something that's going to give our hair definition without a whole bunch of chemicals and whatnot. Look at that. That is straight moisture. Mm-mm-mm. Ain't that right, Pugsley? So now that our water is boiling, we're going to add one-fourth cup of flaxseed. Now watch me waste this all over the place. There we go. Look at that, already wasting stuff already. So that's our fourth a cup of flaxseed and we're just gonna pour it into the water. And it's starting to boil. I'm gonna take the spoon and just make sure that the flaxseed is fully covered. In the next few minutes, you're going to see, and I'll show you because you're not gonna be able to see it the way it is. There's going to be like this slimy film that's going to start to, to form. Looks like snot. Then you'll probably notice it'll have this glazed look that starts to go over it. So that's what we're going to wait for. All right, so now it's starting to get that glaze to it. And it still may be kind of hard. But do y'all see? Oh, I'm so nasally. Do y'all see this white stuff on the top? Do y'all see how it's starting to glaze? that's the gel starting to form watch it looks watery but then look see that that's the gel starting to form all right y'all it is done so i just turned the heat completely off and as you can see let me show you look at that that's definitely <laughs> <laughs> done. I made some gel, y'all. Look at that. Look at the glaze on top of there. Look at that. That is gel. Gel and weave. Gel and weave. No, I ain't got no weave, but this is definitely gel. To transfer or to drain the gel, what you're going to do is you can use either a cheesecloth or you can take the cheap way and the less expensive way and just take an old pair of stockings like I did here and just cut the foot out. It's a strainer. So I'm just going to stretch it across um, the bowl and then I'm just going to tie it down with a rubber band. All right, so the gel is completely cool. You can see here how it looks. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Ain't it amazing? This stuff actually made gel. All right, so we're going to take our stocking, put it over the bowl, and we're going to take our rubber band and secure the stocking if it'll stay. <laughs> secure the stocking on the bowl. Now we're just going to take everything that's in here and we're going to you can use a um, a spatula if you want to but this spoon actually does just fine. And this is nice and cool so you don't have to worry about it I'm not worried about it splattering anywhere. It's not going anywhere. 
These seeds are really the only thing I'm scraping. But the gel comes out pretty nicely. Yep. Comes out pretty nicely. So once we have everything inside of the stocking, we're going to extract it. So now we're going to extract it. So all we're going to do is just we're going to run our fingers through here, hands, whatever, how you want to do it. And you're just going to squeeze all of the gel, which will come through, extract through the stocking. So here we go. And we're extracting. And hopefully it works for me. And hopefully this stocking don't have a hole in it. <laughs> so as you can see, it's starting to come through. Yeah. So this is it. So this is the flaxseed hair gel. And it is con it's done, it's completed. And you can see the consistency of it. It may be just a little, little thicker than I want it, but it can be thin, it can be thick. It's how, what consistency works for your hair. And you can add some essential oils to it if you like. Just one, uh, two to three drops. Why is in this thing in focus? So instead of just finding a small amount of this product in a gel, whether it be Eco Styler gel or what have you, that promotes hair growth, just make it so that it's just potent hair growth for your hair. You know, so it you don't have to worry about it being having chemicals in it because it's all natural there's no chemicals in it there's no other additives anything in it that you will find in any other type of hair gel so instead of just the companies just incorporating just a small amount of this stuff that's supposed to grow your hair in those products just make it yourself and just have your very own and it's solely that product that grows your hair and promotes hair growth and it's nourishing for your hair moisturizing for the hair prevents breakage and damage and so on and so forth. But not only is flaxseed good for your hair, but it's also good for your body as well because it's high in fiber and proteins and things like that. And it's, I think it's something worth trying. So give it a try. It's real easy, as you saw, it's very easy to, to do. So give it a try. So that's all I got for y'all today on this video. So if you like this video, Please give a thumbs up. Please comment and don't forget to click that subscribe button. It's just Janine. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.